Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be taking a look at Medium. This is an Unreal uh, Engine game, just one I've been looking forward to actually, I've just been quite interested in it, as it looks pretty decent. So playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 no HDR this time, I may make a separate video with it enabled. Ray tracing is enabled however, and the quality is at high, which is the maximum. Um, maximum FPS is unlimited, you can lock it to 30 or 60 if you wish. Um, base quality is at high, DLSS of course is enabled and the quality of DLSS is high, so I would assume this will give me the best image quality. Fidelity affects sharpening, as you can see below, sharpening final image to reduce blur from uh, post-processing, so it kind of makes the image a little bit more sharp, which is something I would like. Resolution scalability is an interesting one. If you leave this at default, it will be at 70%. Render the scene in lower, higher resolution and scale the image up to the target resolution, which should be 4K. So I've pushed it to the maximum, which is 90%, so I'm hoping this will give me the best image quality. Everything else is maxed out. The only thing I've disabled is motion blur. As you guys already know, I'm not very, I'm not a fan. So that is pretty much it for the in-game settings. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of the pines. And then the gunshot. Game looks fantastic though. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. <laughs> if they only knew. Wow, this game looks absolutely fantastic. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. I know what country this is. To dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. The architecture looks like London, to be fair, but um, could be somewhere else in Europe. So she's just had a death in the family, I assume. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Okay. So this is some kind of diary funerals at 12.30 at on the 16th of October, 20, uh, 1999. Um, there's another funeral at, between 9 and 11, so I don't know, it's got a lot of people dying, I see, so in our family. Let's read this. So this is just basically a diary. Um, how do I go back? Cues to go back. It's got like the kind of old school Resident Evil type feel to it, like the real kind of classic horror um, control system. It might be a bit clunky, it doesn't feel modern at all, but I'm not someone, it feels like almost like Dino, Dino Crisis, like the classic yeah. Capcom nice games. To see you too. Just going here. I haven't really talked too much about That's performance, it's a bit up and down. It's like um, he never damaged. Let's have a look and see if we can find anything. Where would he have put the tie? What's in here? Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. 
and what is the other way. So you can press left control to activate insight. So ah, so it kind of gives you a clue where things might be. So this is it. So I found what I needed. Okay, I think that's it. Just Jack's waiting here. downstairs. Time to say goodbye. I know she's probably speaking out loud for the benefit of us, but it's a little bit weird to kind of see a character just speak out loud like that when there's no one around. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Damn, this game is demanding as hell. I'm not complaining or anything. So you guys just understand when I'm reporting on the performance, good or bad, I'm not complaining. It's just more my thoughts, that's all really. And uh all I'm saying is this game's heavy on the GPU. My RT. oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? Hmm. Well, she got a degree. So, a fair play to her. What's in here? It's a photograph of some sort. Let's have a look. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Helped pass on? What the hell does that mean? I help teach or move on to the next plane? I don't really understand what's going on. Obviously, I'm familiar with the word medium, so she's obviously got some kind of connection to spirits or entities from a different plane than this one. Um, let's try and leave the, leave this place now. I would assume we've done everything we need to do in this building. I'm curious to see how the game performs in a bigger environment. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Hmm. What are your powers? Can you communicate with other spirits? Can you interact with them? Can you see them? I'm curious to see what these powers are. So again, the performance is all over the place, but the uh, CPU utilization isn't too bad. We're using about eight cores, from eight cores or, or more. Me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. So she's just speaking in her head. I thought she was literally speaking out loud, so that's quite good to see. I thought that would have been pretty strange. A last goodbye funeral home, huh? So, where do I go? There isn't any waypoints or anything like that, so you just kind of got to make your way. Yeah, it almost feels like... In the prep room. Almost feels like Dino Crisis, the way the game handles and changes view. Um, very, very classical... Capcom kind of horror type uh, game, which is not a, a necessarily a bad thing. I just don't think everyone's gonna like the control system, but I'm familiar with it. I grew up with it, so I'm not too bothered. Here it is. Is there anything else I need on here? Uh, no. Nope. Let's get out of here. Who was that in the photo? Actually, let's have a look. So that's what her dad looked like. She looks a little bit like, um, oh damn, I forgot her name now. You know the lady that plays Cersei in Game of Thrones? Um, oh, the name escapes me now. I'll probably remember a bit later. Yeah, Lena Headey, that's her name. Le she looks a little bit like Lena Headey. And uh, I think Lena Headey is pretty hot, you know, in her own way. Like, So it's not a bad thing. Um, where do I go now? Somewhere that needs a key, I would assume. 
this is the prep room, so maybe here. I don't have the key for this one. Let's have another look around. So this is the first time I'm playing this guy, so I'm like experiencing this for the first time as much as you guys. Can I leave the whole building? Guess stop. You can't I'm holding shift and I'm not sprinting. I don't think I'm allowed to run. Yeah. A, Who doesn't? Graffiti. It's a bit of a scummy thing to do around a around a funeral home, isn't it? Okay, let's No can't get into that room. Been into that room already. Um I'm gonna see if there's something I've missed. So I got the keys from the desk. Maybe there's something else. I don't see anything else. Holding a nice 70 frames per second indoors. Maybe I've got to look at some more objects. Not really. Maybe I've got to interact with something more on the desk. read this actually. You might have to read this before you can move on. Uh, it's just general information about her dad. Uh, there's nothing, she doesn't say anything when you look at the photo. Sorry guys, seems like I'm a little bit stuck here. I'll try and find out what I've got to do as soon as, as fast as possible. Let's go back to this door. Oh, it's a bit weird. Trying to play with this type of system again after all these years. So select item. Maybe you have to manually select the item, but it's not letting me do that. So I don't know what that's about. There you go. I've opened the door. So what am I looking for now? I don't even think we know her name yet. I don't, I've heard her mention her name at all. I haven't seen any documents with her name on yet, so I don't even know what to call her. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Okay, so is her dad on the table in here somewhere? I'm sure he's in one of these slide out storage. Hey, yeah. Jack. Okay, let's pull you out. So, the tie on. I got your special clip. Now, where's your tie? Maybe there's something I need to. Yeah, so you actually have to combine it with the tie, so that's what I was doing wrong. Yeah, I feel like a bit of an idiot now. <laughs> I'll get it right now. So combine these two together. Okay. Okay, now we go back. Now we put it on to. Sorry, guys. Just getting used to the. Just getting used to the system. Okay, so I've done I that didn't now. Expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it it just burns you from the inside out. you're ready but am I <laughs> loads of frame spikes going on here so not the smoothest experience yeah it's pretty tough Oh, 
can't you people read? The sign says closed. <gasps> Maybe this is the part when we finally get to see some of her powers. Let's have a look around. Well, so the view changes, of course, when you get to certain proximity. So it's a little bit awkward trying to walk around sometimes. You can't see where you're going until you move to a certain place in a way. So that's not the way in. That was just another cupboard. Let's go past here. Let's get out the door. Who's... Whose shadow is that? It's quite a slow place game, so you don't necessarily need a lot of frames to enjoy this. You could probably enjoy this at 30 frames, no problem. But who wants to play at 30 frames per second in 2021? What the hell? Okay, what happened to the office? Some, someone's been in here and it's ransacked the place. Oh. What's this on the floor? That's broken. And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Ah, oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late! Marianne? Uh, uh, Marianne, are you... are you crying, my child? I... It's fine, Jack. Now, now you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Jack, you should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... you are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> Why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Joe. Where is that? Shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, Jack. Uh, it's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to get uh, some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, uh, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> Stuff then. Huh? All right. All right, Jack. Get some uh, rest. I, I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. So I guess this is what she, I guess this is what she means by helping someone move on or pass on. So she's kind of like. Helping the spirit on its way. It's an interesting way of portraying what she's seeing and kind of showing you in the real world. Obviously, there's nothing there, but in her in her vision or in her mind, this is actually what's going on. So, the split screen is an interesting way of doing it. Um, Most would, people would give anything to have that opportunity. 
to say all the things that were left unsaid, but it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Interesting stuff. I like what I'm seeing so far, though. Pretty interesting. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. At... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. Pretty freaky stuff, man. Very, very story-driven and driven game. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.